Uh, you know what? You, you, first of all, you self scout. Self scout, see what you're doing, um, tendencies, and, and then you're checking to see what we're doing well, what we're not doing well, and, and then you get to implement it as you go. And, and uh, now we're working to get better each day. Had a really good practice today. Uh, excited about their energy. The weather was perfect. And so it's a, it's a good start to, to this new week uh, coming off the bike. Is there any concern at all just with Russ coming off the bye week? I, I probably, as a coach, you oh, you know, you always think that, but I, I've been both ways. I've been both ways where you come off and you play, uh, you know, a perfect game and it's great, and then you come off, I come off where you both like you never played football before. You know, I think you got to have somewhere in, 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 in between it. You got to come out. You got to be consistent. You got to have that energy. You got to have the enthusiasm. You got to be focused and, and locked in. That's what it is. Football, one-on-one -on -one matchups, and being locked in. So. I loved where they were today. Feels like it's been a month, but from the A&M film, what are some things that you saw that you guys need to fix? Well, we, you know, number one, penalties. I'm just going to start right there. Yeah. Okay? Just, just penalties, you know. And then again, offense is about executing. So, you know, if they practice and, and play like they did today, we executed today. It was really good. It's going to be fun to watch the film tomorrow and show them what they're capable of. It, I, you moved Taven inside on the, the depth chart to to one of those inside. Well. He's a both, but what it, what could he get from that those inside slot positions and you know how much is that an is that an effort to get him the ball more? I mean I know that's a been... little, little bit of both, right? Yeah. And then depth and where we're at with uh, Cleveland red shirting and, and so you know you, you have him now bigger body they can get in there and maybe post some people up and so uh, and he's really smart he knows everything so that why that's why Taven was that that person and you can you got a chance to get him the ball there. Mark mentioned last week guys like Zaire maybe a mod wagon would get more. Those they have, they both have. They have probably for the last three weeks. Uh, both of them making progress. You know, we kind of talked about it earlier that, that some of those guys, those younger guys, that maybe by week six, seven, or eight, they could help us. And uh, uh, Ahmad made two or three catches today, and, and Fish has been uh, really working hard uh, at his craft. So uh, I'm really excited about those two guys. Those are two really that, you know, when we did talk about that, that they are improving and things are starting to try. We talked about revisiting things during the bye week. Is some of that just trying to figure out how to balance uh, who gets the ball when and distributing it to the certain playmakers at the right time? Part of it, absolutely. Uh, and then it's, you know, what I'm calling, you know, what we're doing. Are we putting our players in the best situations and scenarios? So, absolutely. Strick said on his radio show last night that Nasir was is, is probably going to be able to go and that he was hopeful about Drake. Were those guys able to play to practice today? Yeah, I mean, we're hopeful. You know, they're, they're, they're making progress. So that's a great thing. I mean, when, you, when you look at Terry's performance at Texas a and like Jen said, it seems a while ago, but what, what did you see? Well, like I talked about it after the game, you know, it, it just it, it didn't look – I didn't think I helped him enough for some rhythm throws. Uh, and then, uh, you know, he'll tell you that, you know, he didn't play his greatest game either. But th there's so many things that, 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 that could have helped that young man, you know, whether it be up front, whether it be receivers, whether it be the running back. You know, we ran a couple of things that, that were wrong at running back. And, and so I think it was collective. But, but he knows, he knows we, we all have to perform better. Coaches, players, everybody for us to, to take that next step. What are the kind of characteristics of the Derek Mason defense? Kids know what to do. They play hard. They play extremely hard. Uh, they are, uh, you, you, you can tell that they understand what's going on, what he's calling. Uh, and uh, he's got a new defensive coordinator and, and they were together. Uh, and they do it. They do a heck of a job. You know, and, and it's always when you go against him. Uh, I love his uh, humbleness and, you know, he, he's, a, he's a heck of a coach. And just as a whole, how do you think the receivers have played so far this year? I think they've played good, you know. I, I don't know if you just you, you can go out and say anybody's just played great, you know what I mean? We're five and one. Something's right. You, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, can we all get better every single day? Absolutely. Goodness gracious, that's what we use that, that bye week for. And uh, I think we're making progress, and, you know, and uh, yes, everybody finding the identity, who we are, what we are. And, you know, you do that during the bye week, too, you know, to, to, to make sure but you give your, your, your offense a chance. Where do you want to be as an offense? What do we want to be? Yeah. Well, number one, you don't. You want to be a disciplined offense. You want to be an explosive offense. We were explosive for five out of six games this year. Guess which game we weren't explosive? <laughs> okay, so, you know, those are the things we talked about right at the beginning of camp. Uh, you know, you got to be able to run the ball. You got to be, you know, I guess say balanced, but, you know, you got to be first down efficient. We were awful. We 
were awful on first down efficiency. Therefore, you're in lots of third down and longs. And therefore, you know, you put yourself in a bad situation. So, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, when people watch us on film, I wanted, that, I wanted to think that, you know, hey, that's a physical football team. They'll get after your tail and, and you better be ready for 60 minutes.